The greatest moral philosopher of all time gave us the greatest piece of ethical advice of all time in one simple sentence. The sentence is known all over the world, and if you'll stay tuned to Distinctions for Life, you'll find out how it's a little misunderstood, but it is something that we can use to make right ethical decisions all the time. Hi, I'm your host, Ron Davis. Welcome to Distinctions for Life. The greatest moral philosopher of all time was Jesus of Nazareth. Now, those of us who believe that Jesus was the Son of God, this isn't really that surprising. Although even for us Christians, we're often taught that we should believe in who Jesus was and not so much in believe in what Jesus said. And we don't often think of him as the smartest man that ever lived. But of course, that makes perfect sense if he was the Son of God. So what's the core of his ethical teaching? Well, we can realistically say that Jesus' greatest philosophical discourse was what they call the Sermon on the Mount. And the short, pithy version of the Sermon on the Mount is what we call the Golden Rule. When I did the interview show Beauty and Brains, I was a little surprised how often the Golden Rule came up to, in answer to the question, how would you teach someone to be good? Good, I would just basically tell them that uh, they should treat people the way they want to be treated. If you know what you're doing to someone's going to piss them off, or if you know what you're doing to someone to piss you off, don't do it. How do I learn to be good? You're going to use the golden rule, treat others as you would like to be treated. If you don't want to be treated that way, then don't do it. I also realized this wasn't the teaching that Jesus taught of the golden rule. See, what this was, and what most people think of as the golden rule, is really don't do to other people what you don't want those people to do to you. But that's not what Jesus said. Jesus said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. See, his was stated in the positive and not in the negative. I'm going to expose one of my eclectic sources. I actually learned this distinction from a D&D supplement. It was called the Book of Exalted Deeds, and it was discussing how to play good characters. And then there was a discussion in there on the difference between a good character and a neutral character in alignment. See, a neutral character just doesn't do evil. Okay? They won't come kill you for no particular reason, whereas an evil character might just kill you for no particular reason or just because they like that. A neutral character wouldn't kill you for no particular reason. Um, but if something was going on with you, they would just consider it not their business and they wouldn't get involved. So if there was something evil going on, they didn't feel the need to go and combat that evil. But a good character, a good character had to proactively fight against evil. They had to proactively go do good. I've got two action steps for you today. The first is to go read the Sermon on the Mount. If you're a Christian, you need to read the Sermon on the Mount because it is the exposition that tells you how you're supposed to be. If you're not a Christian, a lot of times we view things through filters. And a lot of people who don't believe in Christianity view the Christianity through the filters of either politics or through their experience with abusive or boring Christians. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to step out of your comfort zone just a little bit and go read what Jesus actually said in the Sermon on the Mount. Thing number two is let's put this, action, let's put this golden rule into action and go positively do something to make another person happy. Now it's important that you find out what makes other people happy and do that for them because that's what you'd want them to do for you, right? So what are the resources for today? Well, the Bible, the book of Matthew to be specific, that's the Sermon on the Mount. If you really want to go crazy and get really seriously deep into the Sermon on the Mount, then you know, need to go get Dallas Willard's book, The Divine Conspiracy. Dallas Willard is a professor of philosophy at the University of Southern California, and he goes in depth into the philosophical background, the philosophical teachings, the world view that is part of the Sermon on the Mount. You should check that out. I never knew that Jesus was quoting Plato. Did you know he was quoting Plato? So you might want to check that out. And one other resource, the Book of Exalted Deeds. There'll be a link to that in the show notes. That's a D&D, Dungeons & Dragons, supplement on how to play good aligned characters. If you're watching this on a video site, could you please rate our videos and subscribe to the feed? And you should come by our website and join our email list because you'll get free reports that'll tell you new distinctions that'll make a big difference in your life. Living the golden rule is living life to its fullest. So until next time, I'm your host, Ron Davis. Live life to the fullest.